Hey you, it's Evie. I have a few videos coming your way. Um, I'm just a little agitated and I needed to vent a little bit. Mom's not here to call to vent and yell at and all that. And so many of you have been great, great support for me and I appreciate that so much. I just got back. I was out of town doing some running around. And I got back and I was reading some comments and I'm irritated. I'm really irritated about a few things. And I know a lot of you are going to relate. But I, I just need to bark about it a little bit. I got you on the funny part here because of the sun. So that's why it kind of looks weird. And I got a buttload of laundry I need to be doing. Anyways, you guys. I gotta tell you, I am so, so sick so sick of hearing the same thing over and over all you need to do is sleep better and all you need to do is eat better and you won't have fibromyalgia you can cure fibromyalgia that's a bunch of crock i know that fibromyalgia i know there's a lot more questions i know it seems like a lot of symptoms like there's something else fishy about it i get that but at the end of the day, it's still real. Whatever the hell it is that we're going through is not fake. And to say because you eat like crap or because you don't get enough sleep. There's a reason why we're not getting enough sleep. So all these, how to cure fibromyalgia or fibromyalgia isn't real. And they just all these stupid articles and videos and so many people put all this energy into bashing others and sharing my videos and making it seem like this whole other thing put some of your damn energy into yourself like there's a reason why we're not getting enough sleep there's a reason for that and that's because those with fibromyalgia don't get REM sleep we don't get that sleep and that's why I have trouble with our memory and stuff and uh, that's why some videos I seem so droggy I'm not I'm not high as some people like to put on here uh, on that one video that I shared with medicines I have shared a video about the medicine and I, I I've been asked by some of you to make a video sharing uh, side effects and what other people experience even medicines that I haven't tried for myself and I was I was getting all these na nasty comments for that too and I know this is probably a little pointless this video is but like I said I just wanted to vent a little bit that's all um yeah but people are saying uh, drop all the meds and meditate <laughs> Okay, I, I'm i all for meditating and praying and going natural, but it gets to a point for some people, not everybody, some people aren't treated enough. It doesn't do enough for them. They have to see a doctor. That's just how it is for some people. I, I didn't even take ibuprofen. I got to a point where I wouldn't even take an ibuprofen when my head would hurt. But as this stuff came along and got to grow worse and worse, it got to a point where I had to see a doctor. Yes, I, I'm all for going natural, and I think that's awesome if you can. But there are some people with fibro and other health issues that others like to bash, like CFS and ME and POTS. There are actually things coming out where they can diagnose for fibro, if you don't know that read don't just stick to the articles from 30 years ago they don't know much about it now what makes you think they're gonna have anything back then just read the comments you'll find so many people that had this for such a long time and they're finally finding out things about it uh, there's a blood test I, I want to talk to my doctor about getting it but for you if you want to try a test that's supposed to actually tell you if you have fibro it's called FMA there, there are things they're coming out with finding this stuff and others want to put you down and they don't even know what the hell they're talking about. Just, just take over. You think, 
you think that we enjoy being in pain all the time and it's not a pity thing yes I know I've seen some posts that go a little too far like um, I can't think of it but yes there are some posts that take it a little far where it kind of, kind of sounds like pity pity me but you're gonna get a few rotten apples of the bunch not everyone wants pity most people aren't gonna want pity from you at all just a little bit of understanding give us a break it's just so frustrating hearing that and you know i completely get trying to go less med meds and everything because you do have doctors that will try getting you under every medicine under the sun but but with good doctors you don't so it's, it's so important for you guys to keep researching as much as you can. Trust your doctor, but question your doctor, if that makes sense. Uh, always ask questions about why you need this medicine so bad and if it interacts with your other medicines. And I mean, there's so much that goes into it and what you can do naturally, learn about it. And if you can, if you can do that for yourself and have a lesser amount of medicine, that's better yet because yes I'm sure a lot of these medicines can hurt you in the long run but the point is to get some damn relief um, be able to live a little more and not just survive okay? you just want to lay in bed all the time blah 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 laying in bed or sitting on your butt all day isn't gonna help yes some people don't have a choice but I agree to a certain degree that you do need to move around as much as it hurts you do need to move if your legs are mobile move them because if you don't move them then you're gonna lose your muscle and then you're in a bigger mess I get that I, I've had the whole weakness muscle weakness I'm working on building up now but some days there are days you cannot you don't have a choice but you have to rest oh, I feel like this video could be an hour long seriously I don't want to bring you guys down I was just irritated because everything in this world has to have a label why does it have to have a label as long as you have fibromyalgia then you're a pity you're a pity me hypochondriac like screw you you guys this this channel isn't even politics it's nothing with religion, no racism, there's nothing, but there can be so much nasty things being said, and it's just disgusting. It's utterly disgusting. But I'm so thankful for you, for those of you that have shown so much love, so much love. I appreciate you so much. And this wasn't directed to you at all. It's directed to those that don't listen. Whatever fibromyalgia is, it's obviously real we're dealing with it if you're looking for good you're gonna find good if you're looking for bad you're gonna find bad so sitting here and thinking oh what ways can I debunk those fibro mites you're gonna find nothing but bad stuff it's a world in the internet is full of information so either way you choose to go up here is what you're gonna find so Research how to have a heart and go from there because right now you need to work on yourself more than you should be trying to hurt others. That right there is a reflection of yourself and has nothing to do with me. I started this channel was to try to help those struggling and to let you know that you're not alone. I've learned uh, through the years that a few people have actually opened their eyes to learn a little bit and I appreciate that very much too so thank you for those who are hanging around I've always liked that saying the problem with closed-minded people is that their mouths are always open I think I'll end it as that I feel a little bit better <sighs> and I know this is what you guys deal with all the time too and I've always had to deal with the comments but since the since starting online and starting this channel and support group on Facebook and stuff I get it a lot more just knowing that so much of that is out there yet it's it's disgusting and I know things are gonna change you're gonna we have to believe in that and we just gotta continue to stay strong and stick together and remember to question everything always
always keep your mind open. You just you just never know. Uh, like those that have been misdiagnosed with fibromyalgia and they get on a new diet plan or they change up their diet, come to find out they had food allergies. Now that's food allergies. That's not fibromyalgia. It means that person was misdiagnosed. I keep wanting to send me that and share it with others. You gotta think a little bit more. <laughs> We didn't choose this life and you shouldn't have people feeling like they did because that's that's not the case no one would choose this life no one would choose these issues just trying to make the best out of it right now for what we can all right you guys i think i think that's enough sanders bus is gonna be here so thank you I love you all. I hope you're doing alright. If not, hang in there. I got a few good videos coming up. Video about amitriptyline and muscle spasms and twitches. I was hoping to do a bunch today, but I had a lot of running around I had to do. So, they'll be coming soon. Alright, I love you all. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.